Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out a video. And if you're not new, thank you for coming back and checking out another one. Um, before we get started, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. And yeah, I am going to be pushing out a lot of content for you guys. I've been super busy, but I'm back. This is actually the second time I've filmed this video, but this time it's going to come out how I want it to, and we're just going to be on a roll with pushing out some content. So if you're interested in maintaining soft, glowy, smooth skin all winter long, then just keep on watching. All right, girls. So today... We're going to be discussing body care. I know a lot of us tend to focus so much on our face and skincare, but body care is just as important. And especially in the winter time, you know, in the winter months, our skin can really go through a lot. I know my face itself is going through a lot, but my body has to be maintained as well. Um, and so I'm just here today to share with you a few tips and tricks and how to keep your uh, body smooth and glowing all winter long because when summer gets here we don't need to try to get it together then we need to be taking care of it all winter so that when summer gets here we'll be bikini ready our skin will be soft glowy and just you know ready to pop out so let's get into it okay y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it um, we're gonna start off with getting clean um, getting clean is probably the most important part of this because none of the other aspects of the routine is going to work if you're not squeaky clean. So especially during these times of COVID, one of my go-tos um, for a base cleanser of the body is this Dove Antibacterial. I don't know if it's going to focus, but I love using any kind of Dove. I typically always start off my body care routine with some sort of dove I have like eight of them so I just interchange but if you're out and about and you feel like you've been around a lot of people come home and bathe in this antibacterial dove it's gonna get you right so after so after I use that I typically go in with maybe one of my lush this is my rose jam I just love the way this smells like i love all of lush's products they're um super clean they're vegan um so this is one of my favorite rose jam but whatever like luxurious or not even luxurious but just a second body wash that maybe has a scent that you love or whatever um i go in with that second so i typically bathe with two different body washes um throughout the time that i'm in the shower now with using those body washes one of the keys um, to having soft smooth glowy skin is exfoliating so not just with a scrub we're gonna get into that and using your body washes I do use a regular loofah but I use this towel it's like I don't know what it's called I'll put it up on the screen but it's like a different type of textured towel and it's more rough than a loofah I use this a lot on my back so I do it like this and get it on my back because ladies do not miss your back like it's it's back there it's important and when you want to wear all this backless stuff in the spring and summertime you don't want your back looking bad so make sure you're getting your back and you're treating your back just as much as you're treating the rest of your body it's 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 easy to miss and to neglect but don't do that another tool that I like to use is this um sponge so I use this all over my body um and it really helps to you know exfoliate in those places that are hard to reach and just to exfoliate period um this is aside from using an exfoliating scrub so these two along with my loofah that's what I use so when we're talking about exfoliating and our lady parts I like to use this exfoliating glove it's not as rough as the other ones but it still gets the job done and so I just have this glove um, because you want to make sure to exfoliate down there too we don't want any ingrown hairs again I'm gonna get into feminine hygiene a little bit later but this is what I use to exfoliate down there you can find these all these tools on Amazon um, at 
Marshalls, Ross, Target. They're very easy to find. So after I bathe and I'm clean in the shower, I like to go in with an exfoliating scrub. So the first um, scrub that I'm gonna mention is the KP Bumpy Racer Body Scrub with 10% AHA. This is safe for sensitive skin. So I do suffer from KP, which is keratosis pilaris on my arms. They refer to it as like chicken skin. It's like bumpy, like red bumpy skin. So this really does come in handy with tackling that. Um, it's not pretty, it's not cute, and so you have to do what you have to do to maintain it and make it, um, you know, as less, least, less noticeable as possible. So I use this. This is my first aid beauty, and I also use this Olay KP Bump Body Scrub. This is what it looks like, and it serves the same purpose. Um, the percentage, this one has glycolic acid. So yeah, I use both of these. I love both of them. And this one is less expensive than the First Aid Beauty, but I love both of them equally. Now, when it comes time to shaving. So in order to achieve that soft, smooth skin that we all know and love, you have to shave. So I love using this Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel along with the Flamingo Razor. Um, I really just change out, I refill my um, blades. I just get the blade refills, but I, I need to get, I don't need to get a new razor, but I love this Flamingo Razor along with their Shave Gel Cream. It, it gets the job done all over. Um, I don't shave my feminine areas I get that wax um, and that is what we will get into next uh, now we are going to get into the area of feminine hygiene this is an area that more people should touch on because some people need some help so I'm going to just step out on a limb and show y'all what I use to maintain a good feminine hygiene routine Waxing is something that I feel is very important. Everybody doesn't get waxed. It's your own personal preference. But I like to get waxed because I just feel better. Um, hair in your private areas can cause bacteria. It can cause odors. You know, if you're working out, if you're sweating. And I just feel like eliminating that hair eliminates a lot of issues. So I love to get waxed. Um, while we're in that area, in terms of a feminine wash, I've mentioned this before, I love the Honey Pot Collection. Um, literally all of their stuff, I use literally every single thing. Um, I use the wash. I use the, the normal, um, but they also have a sensitive in case you need a sensitive. I also use their wipes. These are so so good if you're I have like individual mini ones if you're on the go and you just need to throw some in your purse you know whatever is going on with you during the day you just need to wipe up they have the travel size ones that you can just throw in your purse this is um an older one but again these wipes also come in the sensitive and the normal I use the normal um so yeah honey pot is what you need another product that i use from the honey pot is this jasmine refreshing panty spray it smells like jasmine super fresh and you just like lightly mist your panties and you know it's gonna keep them fresh now you have to do the other parts of the routine you can't just spray your panties and expect to stay fresh but by combining everything that i'm showing you you're gonna stay fresh all day so Another thing that is really important to me in my routine are panty liners. So, people may call me an old lady, um, but panty liners are a key for me. Um, they help you stay dry with whatever's going on. Your panties aren't going to be... what Whatever is going on with your body, your panties are going to stay dry. Um, I love this particular panty liner I'm gonna show you the box so that you can um, go and get them if you're interested but it's not too thick it's very comfortable and I just love wearing panty liners like I'm not gonna not wear a panty liner period like call me an old lady 
it gets the job done it keeps you dry and fresh all day this is the box that the panty liners come in it's the always extra protection daily liners keeps you five times drier and i use the long version so get you some panty liners they make a world of difference trust me um and then another thing that i like to use are flushable wipes not just tissue i do use tissue after i've used the flushable wipes but i just feel like i feel cleaner when i've used the flushable wipe so i showed you the flushable wipes and the honey pot flushable is just like a daily thing that i do with the flushable wipe um but the the wipes are for when you need to clean or maintain down there you know if you're not at home or whatever the case may be so in terms of a menstrual cycle i do wear pads and i do wear honey pot pads i've just never gotten into tampons um so i wear the pads from the honey pot this one is open because i just finished using them just open them but i love that they're herbal infused pads and they do have wings they're infused with mint lavender and aloe and y'all let me tell you about these honey pot pads and panty liners i can definitely say that the minute i feel like my cycle is about to come on i put one of these honey pot honey pot pads on and the reason that i do that is because the herbs i really 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 believe and it's not a mental thing that is it's real the herbs really calm my cramps down they calm any sort of pain that i may be having they calm it all down um just by wearing the pad so i highly highly suggest these pads they also have panty liners i have some of those over there but this is just what i do for my feminine hygiene these are my suggestions by no means am i saying it's the best it's what works for me and if you're in need of something new in your routine i definitely suggest you guys try these things out so yes i am a big fan of honey pot um and yeah that was my little segment on feminine hygiene um one more thing that i have to show you guys is this ingrown hair serum so i get this from my wax lady um your wax lady probably has some too or you can find some but this is the key to keeping ingrown hairs i really don't have any ingrown hairs probably because i use this but um definitely get you some it you know calms down there it um nourishes your skin to keep it you know nice and to keep it from like being discolored and stuff so i definitely um suggest some sort of feminine serum so yeah so we've talked about being clean we've talked about exfoliating and then we've talked about our feminine hygiene so in the exfoliating area i do use other exfoliants like i use my tree hut scrubs i use all types of scrubs just whatever mood i'm in i have probably like 50 in my shower to choose from but i was just showing you base products for eliminating bumps you can use any exfoliating scrub and it it soften your skin but in terms of eliminating those stubborn dry ugly bumps get you some of this in your life so the next area that i'm gonna go into is moisturization so while i'm in the shower if i'm just feeling lazy and like i don't want to moisturize when i get out i use this nivea in shower body lotion um while i'm in the shower i love all of nivea's products but this is gonna make my skin very soft smooth supple and moisturized if you know i'm just feeling lazy or tired and i don't want to really lather down when i get out of the shower so if i'm feeling like i want to have a full body care routine this is what i use so one of my favorite favorite products believe it or not is this trader joe's coconut body butter it's really light it smells it has a light fragrance um and it's really light feeling it doesn't make you feel greasy or sticky but it's gonna moisturize your skin and you're gonna feel soft and supple and not too much glowy but you're gonna be moisturized 
I also um, use this Skin Fix Resurface Plus AHA Renewing Cream. Clinically proven to smooth, dry, rough, bumpy skin and keratosis pilaris, which is what I have. But I'm going to let y'all know something. So my dermatologist recommended that I not use the body scrub that has AHA along with the resurfacing cream together she said that could be a little bit of overkill so I typically like if I use a scrub one night I'll use this one the next night you know and change up my scrub if I scrub with this I typically exfoliate probably about three to four times a week um sometimes more but three at least three times a week you should exfoliate um, in my opinion um, but I probably overkill but y'all I'm not playing about my skin this winter like I don't want ashiness right now it's not even cold where I live but I don't want ashy dry bumpy skin so I'm gonna do all that I need to do to prevent that um, so in addition to this y'all I literally use so many different moisturizers um, I use moisturizers from L'Occitane Nivea, Eucerin, like whatever I pick up, some stuff is scented. So if I'm feeling like I want something scented, I'll use that. Um, I really like the Creme Brulee body cream from Laura Mercier. That's one of my go-tos. Moisturizing is definitely important with getting that glow. There are body oils um, and body shimmers that I use if I'm like, stepping out and I want to have you know a certain type of glow on my body so one that I really like Fenty Beauty um, body lava this is in the who needs clothes um shade so I really like this it's not sticky um it's not heavy but it's gonna you know provide your skin with the amount of shimmer that you need and you can put it all over your body um so that you'll be glowing because what do we want glowy soft smooth skin so i love this fenty beauty body glow depending on my outfit and where i'm going i will you know add some sort of oil to um amp up the sheen a little bit that is going to conclude today's video i hope you guys enjoy the tips and tricks that i use in terms of my body routine in terms of feminine hygiene um, again, I am in no way, shape, or form a dermatologist, a gynecologist. This is just what works for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!